What happened on days two and three of Rock Around 3? I've got some epic footage to show you, and I'll reveal what's coming next for the Steve Eng channel. This is the Beast, the world's fastest RC car. It's my completely custom speed machine powered by four drone motors directly driving the wheels, running on 18S power and wrapped in a sleek aerodynamic body. On day one of Ross Around 3, the Beast set a new world record, 234.71 miles an hour. But the question was, could it go even faster on days two and three? I was determined to find out, but the weather had other ideas. It rained all day, not just a drizzle, proper Welsh rain. The runway was completely soaked, so there wasn't even any point going down. So it turned into a day of tinkering and maintenance instead. After the record-breaking run, the front left-hand motor had locked up. It freed off again and seemed okay, but I decided to swap it out for one of my new spares, just to be safe. I also wanted to push the current higher for more torque, but I ran into a firmware cap. There is an unlimited firmware option, but reflashing all four ESCs at 9 o'clock after a couple of ciders didn't seem like a great idea. So I increased current up to the limit, still significant but sensible. Welcome to Ross Around 3, day 3. It's another spectacular morning here on the runway. After my world record breaking run on day 1, what more has the beast got in it today? The runway took a while to dry, so while waiting, Rory and I had a bit of fun with his armour granite, and there was a strong headwind that morning. I was hoping it might ease off later, so I kept the beast in reserve, waiting for the best window. In the meantime, Rory was pushing for his 200 kilometers an hour hat, and he got so close. Definitely check out his channel for that one. While waiting, I decided to bring out the Cone, my first RC speaker, just for old times sake. It was great fun to revisit, but it reminded me exactly why I moved away from skid steer. After a wobbly run and an ESC shutdown, he confirmed that mechanical steering was absolutely the right move for the beast, and any cars I make in future. With the headwind still up, but time running short, I decided to make a run anyway mainly to take some learnings into the winter period and hopefully not destroying the car in the process. I'd fitted the durable BSR teal tyres and increased the current limit for extra torque. So you haven't got any tape hanging or tape line around? Uh, where's all the... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Just right in your hand. <laughs> Chris kindly took the beast down to the far end of the runway to maximise distance and minimise risk. Taking you up to the end then. He is, yeah, he's putting me on, on the uh, transition. That's where, I, that's where I go, I think it's... Visibility was so much better than Friday. I can actually see the car clearly this time, even though for some reason the lights weren't coming on. Disabled. Are we ready? Are we all clear then, yeah? All clear, all good. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Then the run. Perfect launch, smooth, straight and flawless. Yeah! And despite the headwind, the beast clocked 223.91 miles an hour through the traps. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that was an awesome run to... Into a slight headwind, you certainly backed up what you've done. Yeah. Oh, you sound like they're gone. Yeah. Two, two, three, eight, 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 e
still cross. Into the wind. I thought it was 2-1-3. No, 3 That's what I said. That's how I... <laughs> Back up rum. Oh wow, yeah, I thought I thought yeah, I thought 220, I'd be well happy with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Oh,